Hello my friends and welcome to the next installment of Super Mario Bros. 2 Root of 3. Last time I left off at the jump near the end of the level and yes, this is another post commentary adventure because my crazy self forgot to uncheck the setting that said do not record audio. I know I could be retarded at times. But anyway, and as usual, I gotta play some music, so. And I didn't start all the way to but that's okay! Anyway! So, there I am, jumping, trying to get that other block because it's being a pain and doesn't want to be destroyed. But I'm having trouble even jumping high enough to get to the block because of how this particular save is. And I is just uh look at that. Jump, jump, fall. Come on, Mario. I'm just like, uh, jump it, jump, jump. Please block be destroyed. Oh, ten minutes later, and it was quite literally like ten minutes or so later, I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna pause it, I'll get back, and woo, five lives! But, I was just like, okay, I'm not gonna take a whole, a whole other ten minutes on this job, so I was just like, I'll cut and come back. So that's what I did for once. That is 1-3 completed! Now for 1-4. Oh, I don't remember what I talked about that I had to be on the map so long. Oh wait, uh, I know why part of the map is so long. I was doing my multiple save state thing. So just in case I mess up, I have backups. Backups are nice. Backups. Help me from getting trapped. Trapped is no good. Traction is no good. <laughs> or lack of traction is no good, I should say. Poor traction is no good, no good. This level really isn't that difficult. It didn't really take me long to figure out the first time I went through it. I'm like, okay, wait. I just thought it was like, okay, I'll... Now, how did I do it so I don't get hit by lasers? How did I do that before? Oh, that's right. Okay, I got it. Save! Continue. Now, the next part is trying to get the invisible coin block here. Not like that. And not... It's like right there before the platform goes into the abyss. There! Now that coin block I found on accident the first time, just trying to hit the block before the platform went suicidal. I'm like, oh, okay. And the first time I made it there, I didn't have, I was little, I was small Mario. So I just had the mushroom. I was like, I jumped over and saw that, I'm like, uh, what? So I jumped back and tried making the jump as Big Mario quite a few times. I'm like, that's not gonna work. I would keep seeing the platform. It would tease me. It's like, oh, I almost made it. It's right there. I see it. This is how I'm supposed to do it. But after a few times, I was thinking about it. I was like, wait. I'm supposed to have a leaf. That mushroom power up is a leaf. So I used one of my backup saves. So I get in here as Leaf Mario, lose the leaf, make it to the block with Big Mario to get the leaf. So I can do this. 
Be like, no, float down! Float down! And I miss. I can be retarded at times. Star! Woo! Four complete. Time for the fortress. Woo! Fortress. Backup saves now. I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, I remember. I was saying at this point, like, see, like I made it through as Big Mario. I couldn't make it up there as Big Mario. The conveyor belt. So I probably could have, but as you see, as you will see once I get past this point, for this one part, I don't think Big Mario would help me that much. I need to be small. It's just a matter of opinion, but once you see what I'm talking about, I think you'll agree with me. Just saying. Just, just throwing that out there. If I could get the timing right. Yes, yeah, so I, I, so I, I sat there long enough. The first time around. And figured out the best time to run. So I'd make it past the ghost without getting hit. It's a four count. Once you count the four, you should try to get up there as smoothly as you can so you can get up and jump before the ghost starts coming back up. And it doesn't matter what position he comes up or goes down or like that. It's, just, it's a count of four. And I failed. But it's like one, two, three, four. Usually a slight bit slower than the one I just counted, but yeah. That's why I be counting in my head, but like, two, three, four. Like, uh, but it's about a four count, depending on how you count four. But, anyway, I digress. It's like I either hit the ghost, or I jump too soon, once I get up there and hit the spikes. Like that. Spikes! Oh, I made it! Oh, no, I didn't. Uh, spikes! Not the friends! Just like Medusa heads! Yeah, not the friends! That's not a rat for now. That's a rat for another time. Hey, come on, get on the conveyor belt! I implore you. There we go. Save. And try not to fail, please. Tone it down the failage. Tone it down. Tone it down the failage. Barely no fail, fail no. There we go. Save! I threw this in there just cause. Uh, yeah. Oh, me making multiple saves. I believe, yeah, I'm making multiple saves. But see, this is the part I was talking about where being Big Mario may not quite be to my advantage. But. I was saying before when I was doing this, like this is I like this part. I don't know why I like it, I just do. And I yes, I do pause while I'm in the water. And just like swim Epic button tapping. That you would have heard epic button tapping. Save The reason why this took so long and I didn't automatically save, cause my reaction was something like CANNON! Giant cat of the death, I forgot about you! I forgot! 
giant cat at a desk. Why did you have to be there? Or something to that effect. That that was my reaction. And I actually had desk at that point when it got back to the the world map. Cause I've forgotten about that cannon. And it was just like get into the face. And that's the end of this video. I shall see you in the next part. Bye bye.